I'm Maximilian Munch, and welcome back to your Kenyans News Micro. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Kenyans News. Ahmad Arbery was shot and killed almost two years ago. Finally, last Wednesday, November 24th, the three men responsible were convicted of murder. Here's Daniel Herrera on the reaction from the citizens of Georgia. With justice being served for Ahmad Arbery and his family after the trial, we take a look at what the citizens of Georgia have to say about it. Well, before, based on the media, that was what they were telling us. I was, like, I was going more on the side, but when I saw the case itself, I saw all the evidence laid out and all the, the videos that are played, I think they're, the, the jury reached a verdict. And, the three men that were found guilty of murder were Travis McMichael, Gregory McMichael, and William Bryan. These three men will face sentences of up to life in prison. On the verdict, I think based on the facts and the evidence, the jury made a wise decision. Let's look at what a mother has to say about the verdict. It's a sad verdict because there was a life lost at their hands. And now you have a father, a son, someone's father, someone's brother, they're gonna spend the rest of their lives in jail for the crime. I believe that no one is above the law. This whole situation has made citizens feel away from start to finish. They murdered someone. They hadn't even been arrested. They went on with their lives. He was innocent and to proven guilty. They killed him. They didn't give him a chance. So I was angry. I felt bad for his family. I felt bad for the fact that that could have been my brother. That could have been my son. That could have been someone, my friend, my neighbor. And for someone to feel like they have the right to take someone's life away, it made me angry. For Canyons News, I'm Daniel Herrera. Every year, College of the Kenyans hosts a Thanksgiving marathon and invites people of all ages to run, walk, or jog around the campus. Here's James Gonzalez on how this turkey trot has been going on for many years and is still going strong. On Thanksgiving morning, the morning for most people to sleep in, there are those who are out at College of the Kenyans at 8 a.m. getting ready to run a 5K run. This is the 13th year of the annual turkey trot and it happens every year on Thanksgiving morning in support of a good cause. Today is Thanksgiving Day. We're having a turkey trot uh, in, in regards to brain research. So we're out here uh, enjoying the day and getting our stomachs empty to, to eat turkey dinner and enjoy the day. The race starts at 8.30 and leads the runners through COC campus running a route that ends up back at the football field where they are met with the finish line. People are greeted at the finish line with cheers and medals they have earned by finishing the event. While there is a portion of people at the turkey trot who are there to compete against themselves or their peers, most people are there with their friends and family as well as the running community to support one another and the cause. Favorite part is probably the people along the way, like running culture is really cool. I like how everyone's super supportive and also the uh, the medals are cool too. Uh. I mean, I just love seeing all the people out here. Like, it's the best environment, just like the running community in Santa Clarita. I, just like the start, running with everyone. It's just a lot of fun. The turkey trot community is strong, and this tradition will be continued throughout generations to support a good cause. This is Kenya News, and I am Jamie Gonzalez, signing off. COVID-19 has been impacting businesses in many different ways. Here is one business owner in the graphic design industry and her experience with the pandemic. Making your own business has become a much more common trend, but not everyone has founded their business recently. Some, like Marla Carlton, have had their business for years. I'm a principal at Specta Design. I founded the company in 2002. We began as a brand design firm and now um, through the years, we're now user experience, application design and development, and we pretty much design and develop everything. Through the years, Specto Design has become a very reputable company. 
So the biggest achievement in our business so far, I would say, is having clients that we've had for more than a decade. So I think that's an achievement to keep clients and continue to develop and grow with those clients. We've won um, multiple awards for design and brand design and web design and web development. While Marla has been successful with her business, she's still had some ups and downs. So COVID um, impacted us in that all of our clients were affected and you know, their sales went down and their business was affected. So that means our business is affected because we handle their marketing and design and development of products. And if they are not launching new products or they had to put those on hold, then, then our work goes on hold too. Fortunately, besides finances, there hasn't been much change in the graphic design industry because of COVID. So going back to normal won't be difficult. The only difference that we have now is that, you know, instead of in-person meetings, we've had a lot of Zoom meetings, you know, we live on Zoom. So the only thing I see that would change with our business in the future um, is that we'll end up going back to in-person meetings. For Kenyon's News, I'm Max Munch. There's always a hidden gem where you least expect it. Here is Sofia Estrada on one heartwarming bookstore that leaves a lasting impression on their customers. The Open Book is an independent-owned bookstore that sells new and used, located on Soledad Canyon Road near the Food for Less. It's become kind of like a little gem in town, I think, a little secret spot for people to come and hopefully you won't, won't say so secret. <laughs> We're trying to get the word out. We're just in a very awkward location, so uh, word of mouth has been a really powerful thing for us because people... You know, they make their, their, their pilgrimage here as often as they can. We get people who come from all the way from Bakersfield. The Open Book has its own community of customers due to their selection and spirit, and each visit, customers make a valuable memory. A few years ago, just bringing my kids when they were little um, or smaller, uh, you know, like seven, eight years old or whatever, um, how excited they would get just going to the kids' section and picking out and seeing the books that they wanted. So I think those were the good memories I have. COVID has been tough on small businesses, but with the Open Books fan base, they've been able to survive. We've, we've done okay, and, and we're very grateful because we, we had an awesome customer base who went out of their way just to like support us and make sure we did okay. A lot of people came in and they were like, I don't even need books, but I want to I support you guys. They would just get boxes of them, so it's been, it's been awesome. The Open Book has successfully made customers feel safe during this pandemic. Like, it's been pretty good with the mask regulations and like the little board plastic thing they have at the cash register. For Canyons News, I'm Sophia Estrada. That's all we have today from the Canyons Newsroom. Be sure to check out our website at canyonsnews.com and stay up to date with all of Valencia's latest through our social media accounts. For Canyons News, I'm Max Munch.